Hello, Pentax Tips here. Today we will be taking a look at the updated Pentax DA Star 16-50mm f2.8 released in 2021. Let's talk about the name designation given for this lens. HD stands for High Definition. Those are one of the latest coatings offered by Pentax and a lot of the SMC lenses are being reissued with this new coating. DA this signifies a lens specifically designed for APS-C sensors in mind. Now that does not prohibit usage with the full-frame K1 cameras. The mounts are the exact same and the K1 can either use crop mode or you can crop in post-production. The little star next to the DA lets us know that this belongs to the premium lineup within Pentax, delivering the best that Pentax has to offer in terms of an optically clinical rendering and with the best lens quality and performance. ED is super extra low dispersion lens, three of them in fact, used to control and minimize optical aberrations. The PLM designation is probably the most exciting. The new 16-50 to lens is a massive update to the previous version that contained an old school SDM motor. Those very first generation SDM motors were severely wanting in both the speed and reliability department. The PLM motor is a focus by wire autofocus system. The focus ring is large and smooth and dampened. Coupled with quick shift, allowing for full-time manual focus override, this is the nicest feeling focus by wire manual focus ring I've ever used. Last, the AW stands for All Weather, Pentax premium offering for the highest quality weather resistance. So let's take a look. This uh, lens barrel extends moderately while zooming. It has no hard stops when achieving infinity or minimum focus, and but what a minimum focus. The 16 to 50 millimeter lens, uh, they can focus down to 30 centimeters, albeit with only a 0.24 times maximum magnification, but its reproduction is still very impressive. For a quick size comparison, this shot here displays the 16 to 50 in the center right with the 11 to 18 millimeter on the left. It is a substantial lens, however, at 112 grams, it feels well balanced when mounted on a camera. The only switch on the lens is used to select between auto and manual focus. This allows you to choose for only manual focus, but still have the camera's autofocus system turned on to help indicate a sharp focus. Please note that the lens has the latest KAF4 mount, which means it contains the electromagnetic aperture control, and it does not contain the screw drive autofocus system and therefore can only be used on newer cameras, newer than the 2013 era cameras, such as the K1, K3, and K50. So for a bit of an autofocus test, you can see in these shots that I'm alternating focus between minimum and infinity focus. Simple, single focus, and you can see that the speed is ultra fast, both through the viewfinder and in live view. To put the lens into a simulated real-life test, my lovely wife Michelle will be biking towards me as a focus subject. By the way, to see a somewhat similar test with the 55 to 300 PLM, take a look at the video that we have linked here. And if you're not too sure about these settings, I've linked our K3 Mark III overview training video. So for settings, I'm using AV mode with ISO 100 and wide open lens at 2.8. And I'm using a continuous autofocus set for a medium burst rate. And I have the camera set to save both DNG and JPEGs, one to each of my Kingston UHS-2 SD cards. I'm going to use auto zone select, auto priority actions, no focus hold, and subject recognition turned on. By the way, I'm using the latest firmware as of May 18, 2023, and that's version 1.80. <laughs> Please appreciate, this is the one and only take shot through the viewfinder. No retakes or duplication was done whatsoever to get desired results. So here we are in post-production. I had waited for my wife to get up to speed before I locked focus and began the continuous burst. From first glance, looking through all the images at regular viewing distances, all the images appear acceptably sharp. Viewing 100% shows some images are sharper than others, with only a couple shots not being sharp enough when cropping to this level of magnification.
However, the autofocus system certainly tracked well, and we have acceptably sharp shots all the way from the start to the end. I absolutely love this lens that is certainly warranted in the DA Star series, producing both pro-level image quality and impressive autofocus performance. Having this focal range updated with not only the new HD coatings, but also the lightning fast and virtually silent PLM autofocus motor is sincerely outstanding. Thanks for watching this Pentax 16 to 50 PLM overview video. And if you like this content and you want to see more like it, please like and subscribe. Thanks.